Hi, welcome to Chef Maxwell's Kitchen, and welcome back to the Culinary Institute of Virginia in Norfolk. Uh, this is a wonderful culinary school. Turns out some of the best uh, chefs around. Uh, next generation of chefs are, are studying here. So to get ready for this, we're making a beet salad. And I've got some beets here in front, and you'll notice they've still got the greens on the top. Now this is a good way to deal with it. I'm just gonna cut the greens off, and I'm gonna drop them down into almost boiling water. We're going to do what's called blanching of these greens. We're just going to put them down in there. Now, you always want to wash anything that grows. Wash it really good. Right? These, I washed a little bit before we broke here, but uh, these probably should be washed more. They're just getting wilted, not really cooked. Right? We've just started them a little bit. Now we're going to drop them down into this cold water to stop the cooking process. All right? And there they go. They're down into the cold water in this bowl, all right? And now the cooking process has stopped. So we've got a nice, soft beet green, all right? And, and I like beet greens because they got this red running through them. It's just really, really a pretty green. So we're gonna save these for a little bit later. All right, now there's a couple of ways to cook beets for the salad. What I did was I boiled them. I put them in the pot, put them on the, on the water with the jacket still on. And, and that takes about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the beets. So I've got one here, right, that I took out of the water and it still has the skin on it. And you can see how, how uh, easy it is to peel this beet now that we've got the, it loosened from the boiling water. All right. But since I've got lots already done, I'm not gonna peel that whole beet. This is what it looks like when it's completely peeled. It's hard to tell the difference, but it's wonderfully soft, Ah, love it. Very good. Right. Now, what we're going to do is next is build a vinaigrette dressing. Right. We're going to take this over here, bowl. We're going to add some vinegar. Right. This little apple cider vinegar. But you can use other kind of vinegar, champagne vinegar. What we're looking for here is the acid. We're going to put a couple of teaspoons of garlic, and we're going to add a little bit of mint. I'm going to Mince that up, and now we're gonna, we're just gonna make it a little, we don't wanna chop them really, really fine, we just wanna make them a little bit thinner, right, so that they go into the vinaigrette nice. Right, right. So in goes the mint, right. and in goes a little bit of Dijon mustard, right. a couple of teaspoons of that, and now I'm gonna whisk it up. Now this is a good basic vinaigrette, right, I'm gonna now trickle in a little bit of the salad oil. This is peanut oil. It's good roasted peanut oil. It has a, has a flavor and aroma of peanuts. So I've got my vinaigrette built here, and I'm gonna divide this into two bowls. In this bowl, I'm gonna add beets, already diced up. Add some of those. Add some onions right. and toss that good. Just mix that around in here. Right. Let that set for just a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna take this bowl of vinaigrette and take my beet greens. Right. And I'm just gonna cut what's known as a chiffonade, long strips of the beet greens. Right. And I'm gonna put that that's down in this dressing. And when I clear off enough room here, right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put this dish together. So we'll be back in a second. All right, now we've got our blanched greens down in the vinaigrette, we've got our beets and our onions down in the vinaigrette, and we're getting ready to put this plate together. So I'm gonna take one leaf of the beets that's blanched and just lay that out on the plate. Right. That gives us a little bed to put this on, but it's cooked so you can eat it. It's not like raw stuff sitting out there. Now I'm gonna take this little round thing, sit it right in the center. This is actually a biscuit cutter, but you could use any kind of tube or any kind of mold. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this beet mix down in here. 
I don't want to get too much of the vinaigrette in there. The vinaigrette was in there to flavor these beets, not necessarily to live with them forever. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of the greens that we've got marinating in here, and I'm going to put those on top of that. And cover that up good. All right, and this is almost ready now. I'm going to take some goat cheese right, and make a very thin cut of goat cheese and lay that right over the top of this. Now, goat cheese, this is a nice soft goat cheese. I'm letting this set just a little bit so it has a chance to hold together. Now, what we're going to try and do is pull this ring mold off and leave this nice and straight. You can top this off with pretty much anything you want. Uh, we could put a little bit of uh, seeds or some walnuts work really well. And the walnuts you could either use chopped, plain, halves, candied, works really well any way you want to do it. So we've got beets, beet greens, a little goat cheese, and I'm going to take just a little bit more of this vinaigrette and kind of go around the plate to dress this up some. Okay, and there we go. Good Virginia beets with beet greens and goat cheese. Delicious salad. Remember, here at Chef Maxwell's, we always play with our food, but it's better if the food is safe, fresh, and locally grown. For more delicious recipes using Virginia-grown fruits and vegetables, contact Lisa Lloyd at the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services at 102 Governor Street, Richmond, Virginia, 23219. Chef Maxwell's recipes are listed on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafarmbureau.org.